Thank you very much for checking me out. My name is Echo Simpson. So right now I'm at the International Sting Legs Bee Center where we have a lot of bees that won't sting. So we are here to try it out. And I'm here to um, Kakum National Park is about five minutes drive. So we're gonna go inside pretty soon and then I'll show you really if they have bees that won't sting. So hey, it's your return, your tour guard, and I love this beautiful building right here, this structure. Alright, so I'm inside a brothel right now and I'm sitting in front of this old church, this old structure. Um, I'm yet to ask the people whether it's a Roman Catholic church or Methodist church. And here with me is a brother Prince. So we're roaming together, yeah. Uh, we're trying to document some of the tourism and tourist attractions here in Central Region. So um, where we are right now, we're just sitting right opposite um, the Stainless B Center. Stingless bee center. It means that the, these bees won't stink when you when you put your hand closer, when you get closer to them. But they do make honey as well. So this is it. That's a sign post. Yeah. So we're waiting for a brother Isaac, who works at the um, Kakum National Park, just five minutes from here. So he he was he's coming to pick us up. Meeting my guy um, who is picking us up. So he's uh, Isaac. Isaac, say hello. So, so this is Isaac. Uh, he works with Kakum National Park. So he's going to be my tour guide today. Yo, the mission goes on. Yeah, it's very on. necessary. <laughs> very <Yes>. necessary. <laughs> All right, like he said, I mean, when you're gone in. You know how to welcome visitors, so he just welcomed us with a, uh, a bottle of a fresh palm wine. So right now I'm inside uh, one of Kakum National Park's other, you know, um, sites that they also, you know, try to manage even though it is not situated right inside Kakum National Park. So I have with me uh, Isaac, he will tell us a little bit about the Stingless Bee Center. Hello world, so it's really exciting to be speaking with you today about Kakum National Park, the International Stingless Bee Center and what we do here. It's, it would surprise you to know that for the first time in Africa there is a sanctuary of stingless bees that do not sting. And so by paying a visit here, it means for once or for the first time in your life, you could get so close to bees and touch them as well as have a taste of their amazing honey. So we're going to have an experience with a stingless bees. Um, when I was coming, I told some friends and they were like, what do you mean they don't sting? And, and I'm told they don't sting. So. People usually say, oh, that's a lie, you know, there's no bees that do not sting and things like that. But have you ever come so close to bees like this? Watch me. So these guys are bees. Oh, okay. This ones? Yeah, I intentionally brought you here to this very one because I know you've seen them before. Mm -hmm. They can be found um, at the crevices or in holes, in you know, in your house and things like that. And okay. So these bees are called the Dactrolina bees and they produce honey just like other bees but they, they not in commercial quantities and apart from that they are best for their pollination services because of the size they are able to enter any flower and um, you know make sure they perform some magic for you to get some fruits to eat. So why don't you touch a bee for the first time in your lifetime? Okay, so watch me. I'll do it first. Okay. And then you do it. Okay. Hello, guys. Okay, 
But the question is, can you ever go get close closer like this to bees? I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I Do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should